This is Thee's Theater, starring C.J. Fee. Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to Thee's Theater. I am C.J. Fee, and we're going to do my collection of Quentin Tarantino movie posters and toys. This is the first time that they're going to be connected. So let's get started. Mr. Orange, Mr. Pink. Why am I Mr. Pink? Let's get started right here first with my Reservoir Dogs set. Now Reservoir Dogs is the first movie that came out from Quentin Tarantino and this is a line from the NECA Real Toys line and this is basically five of the figures from the film. Fantastic likenesses, very well done. Has a nice little uh, read on the back. It's in the cult classics line of NECA Toys. Reservoir Dogs. 1992. What do they call it? They call it the uh, Royale which Next up, Pulp Fiction, 1994. Winner of the best picture at the Cannes Film Festival. And look at this poster, iconic picture of Uma Thurman. Looks like a very worn paperback novel. 10 cents, you can't go wrong buying this novel for 10 cents. Shows all the stars. And take a look at these toys, wow. These are unbelievable little toys. They're called reaction figures, and they're made by Funko. And we have one for the Gimp. Can forget that iconic scene. Butch Coolidge, the Palooka, Marcellus Wallace, how about Vincent Vega, John Travolta's comeback, who can forget Quentin Tarantino as Jimmy Dimmick in his bathrobe, and here's Mia Wallace, portrayed by Uma Thurman, and the wolf, Harvey Keitel, perhaps my favorite figure in the whole movie. Now, down below here, we have another line. These are called the Geonomes, and they are also from NECA. And this is an ensemble called The Cast. You have four figures in this, Marcellus Wallace, and then you have Mia, and uh, of course, John Travolta and Marcellus. And then this one is called Overdose. So you have all the characters who are in the scene of Overdose. Phenomenal scene where they jab Mia Wallace with a gigantic hypodermic needle. And here is the gimp. What a crazy scene this was. Goes in after he hits Marcellus Wallace and havoc begins. And then the cleanup, of course, when John Travolta shoots Marvin. Marvin in the face. And they call in the wolf. The wolf comes to the rescue. Fantastic little figures. Unfortunately, they didn't come out with a whole lot more because if they had, they'd be in the collection. So let's move on. I put a cherry on top. Booyah. Okay, what's next? Jackie Brown. What a great period piece this was. Starring Pam Greer, Robert De Niro, cast poster showing all the main characters, Robert Forrester, Michael Keaton, of course Samuel L, Pam Greer, Robert De Niro, and of course Bridget Fonda. Samuel L. Jackson and Bridget Fonda. She was very, very good in this role. And Michael Keaton. Now, I do have the Robert Forrester poster. However, he is lost in the abyss of movie posters, but he will be resurrected, and I will make sure that I show that to you eventually. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Rob Forrester. I am gonna kill Bill. And here we are with my Kill Bill collection with the Kill Bill movie poster and Kill Bill volume two movie poster. And let's take a look at these toys. We have the Crazy 88 Fighters, and of course these Action figures were produced by NECA. Here's the bride, Beatrix Kiddo, in her yellow jumpsuit. Did so much carnage. And Go-Go, could forget Go-Go, swinging her unbelievable ball that she spun around and really kicked some ass. And of course, the other crazy 88 fighter. Now here in the middle, we have a beautiful 18 inch Kill Bill the Bride talking figure. This has never been out of the box, so I really don't know what the saying say, but it's motion activated sound. And then as we move over to Kill Bill Volume 2, we have Pai Mei, formidable actor in the movie. Bill, of course, Kill Bill, the namesake. Beatrix, and also L Driver. Just take a look at these figures. Great little uh, accessories that come along with them. We have the black mamba snake here. We have the eyeball that she plucks out. Let's take a look at the backs. Beatrix Kiddo, L Driver. Bill and Pai Mei. 
Now each of these backs show a little bit of a description of what each character was and it shows you the entire collection that you can collect. The base is actually connected. Very cool. Let's look at the backs on these Series 1 and they're extremely fantastic also. This is the Series 1 line and uh, in the Series 1 line you have the action figures where the bases connect and close-ups of the actual figures and the whole line of figures. Also made by NECA, Real Toys and uh, they are fantastic likenesses. <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to have to start getting scared immediately. Let's jump to 2007 and Quentin's part of Grindhouse. A Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino double feature. Planet Terror, which is directed by Robert Rodriguez. And Kurt Russell in Death Proof. Who can forget Death Proof? I think one of my favorite Tarantino movies. I just love Death Proof. Death Proof was a perfect homage to the Grindhouse movie. What do you have to say to your fans? You ain't seen nothing yet. Flanking Death Proof are two other Tarantino movies. Although he did not direct these movies in From Dust Till Dawn, it was his screenplay. He actually was a character in that movie. Also starred George Clooney and Harvey Keitel. And also Natural Born Killers. This was his screenplay starring Woody Harrelson, Juliette Lewis, Robert Downey Jr., and Tommy Lee Jones. Fantastic movie. It just must see. Must see movies. You have to see it. Shushada! And along came 2009 and Tarantino's homage to war and his film Inglorious Bastards. And here you see on this wall the teaser posters with the baseball bat and the helmet, the rifle, and the saber going through the bandana with the swastika. And of course, the lead character, Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is a bastard. Arrivederci. 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 D J A N G O. Come on this way. So in 2012, Tarantino put out his homage to westerns, Django Unchained. And there you see over on the right is the teaser movie poster, and then the entire set of character movie posters Leonardo DiCaprio, Christoph Waltz, Jimmy Fox, Samuel L. Jackson, of course. Kerry Washington. Kerry Washington is the hardest of all these posters to obtain. That is a complete set. They are all double-sided. And this is the regular one sheet. And it's great artwork. They took his freedom. He's taking everything. So, the collection of Tarantino, Django, Unchained movie posters for your preview. Oh, oh, oh you believe in Jesus now, how huh, bitch? So come and check this out. For these last two films, we'll be going into the Down Under. I know you love that spot. So in 2015, Tarantino puts out yet another Western. Christmas of 2015, The Hateful Eight, starring Samuel L. Jackson, Kurt Russell, Jennifer Jason Leigh, Walter Guggins, Tim Roth, Michael Madsen, Bruce Dern. Phenomenal movie. You can see this is in advance. You see the bloody slashes here designating the eight Samuel L. Jackson with his two six shooters and of course we have Kurt Russell as the hangman and Jennifer Jason Lee as the prisoner. Daisy Damergue. In the middle we have the regular movie poster showing all the cast on the bottom and on the top here we have the action figures. Now the action figures in this line I feel are some of the most detailed of all the action figures and I got these all at once you know, these were a pretty penny, but just take a look at the detail on these. They're all cloth outfits. The likenesses on the sculpts are just amazing. And just take a look at that. Look at that fur he's got on there. That's the Mexican. And there's the hangman, John Ruth. Look at that coat he's got on. Fantastic. Now, this was shot in 70 millimeter, and it had a epilogue and an intermission. And this my friends, is the program that came along with it. Inside you'll have different parts with the cast. Just how the movie was made and what the movie was about. That's Bob the Mexican. And there's uh, pictures of all the main characters. And this is called the Roadshow Release. And it was a big deal because 70 millimeter. 
you've never seen a movie in 70 millimeter in a theater, you're really missing the boat. Great find. We have a bunch of them, and uh, they're 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 on eBay. I'm as real as a donut, mother. So here we are in 2019, and. Tarantino's ninth film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And as you look on the left, this is the regular one sheet, of course, showing all the main characters in the cast, Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Margot Robbie. But look at the detail on this movie poster. A little Kurt Russell action over in the corner, we got Al Pacino. We got people fighting, we got car crashing. This movie revolved around the time period when Charles Manson was wrecking havoc in Hollywood. So if you like good endings, you have to watch this movie. So you have the regular one sheet showing that spectacular art, and then these two posters on the right are meant to fit together as a mural showing the three main characters, Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, and of course Margot Robbie. Stunning movie posters. These all glow in the light box case. And when you went to the movie, you'd get a movie program. And this is called Rise of the Leading Man. And when you thumb through it, you have a little bit about the editor. And you have parts of the Rise of the Leading Man. And some great artwork and photos about Leonardo showing his parts. Then you have Carrying the Load and Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, of course, won the best supporting actor for this film. And then, of course, they have some great Red Apple advertisements for cigarettes. Red Apple's in a lot of Quentin Tarantino's movies. And the music was phenomenal. Gives you a whole rundown of all the music. And some pictures of the wildness of the Hollywood nights. Pour yourself a mug of Southern hospitality. So this is a great little handout that they gave at the movies. Here's a, another picture of the one sheet. And let's see if he puts out another movie. Make sure you subscribe below, like the video, and ring the notification bell. CJ Thee, signing off from the Down Under. See you next time. <laughs>